Hello, we're on day four today. In 1971, there was a, a popular song that uh, came out by Five Band Electrical Band, and some of you will be familiar with it, or certainly will um, you know, sort of come back to mind when I, I say some of it. Um, and it was called of Signs. And the chorus of it was, sign, sign, everywhere a sign, blocking out the scenery, breaking my mind, do this, don't do that, can't you read the sign? And it was, it was very much a, a, a song of the times and the way people were. But then when you read it, you also realize that it's, it's kind of timeless, uh, even though some of the, the details might be um, specifically sort of for the 70s. And apparently one of the most memorable lines in rock music is this one, long-haired freaky people need not apply. Now that's one of those that's kind of more like the 70s. If you said that now, people would kind of wonder what you're saying unless they remember the song. But the songwriter and the, the band goes through, and and in this case, um, with the first one, they're looking for a job. And this whole line of, you know, if you're long-haired, freaky, you know, you don't need to apply, you're, you're not good enough for the job. Well, of course, that doesn't work at all now with, um, you know, human resources and, and uh, you know, this kind of thing. But at the time, that was what they felt. The second uh, verse talks about um, some property. They wanted to go in and see something. Uh, they would be caught trespassing. The sign was saying, you know, trespass, trespassing, you know, uh, not allowed, stay out. Uh, the next verse, um, the guy was trying to get into um, some kind of club or place, but he needed a membership, a special kind of you know, clothing, and he just didn't fit. Um, and the fourth verse says this, and the sign says, everybody's welcome to come in and kneel down to pray. But when they passed around a plate at the end of it all, I didn't have a penny to pay. So I got me a pen and paper and I made up my own little sign. I said, thank you, Lord, for thinking about me. I'm alive and doing fine. And then it goes back into sign, sign, for a sign. And so I, I was kind of curious on, you know, the background of the song and and just for these purposes, just that last verse. And from uh, songfacts.com, the writer says, finally, we end up in church, which brings God into our story. If ever there is something that is open to us all, it is God. But we in church, um, but I'm sorry, but even in church, um, a donation is called for. At this point, our hero turns the table and makes his own sign, thanking God for the wonder of life. One of the things I wanted to do in retirement, and I started the process there last year and then sort of the beginning of 2020 and then COVID hit, um, but then we were able to um, uh, sort of get further with it through Zoom and so forth. Um, but it, what it is is to be a tutor with the Barry Literacy Council. And it's something I just wanted to do for, for about 15 or 16 years now. And so we were able to, as I said, through Zoom, sort of do the training, the tutor training, and, and just uh, now currently uh, waiting to be matched up with a student. But one of the things that we did, there was a page with um, social sight words and phrases. And there was a list, uh, like a full page of common signs that, that we would see. Things like um, stop you know, entrance, uh, washrooms, emergency exit, uh, do not enter, danger, and, and things like this that, that are really important to know. And then, of course, during COVID, there have been a lot more signs. And I, I know um, some things have changed through that, but I, I know certainly in the early days, we go to a store and I sort of stand there and look at, okay, they maybe had four or five new signs on the door. And, and of course, most of them are familiar now. Obviously, the mask wearing, the social distancing, or physical distancing, and you know, if you feel sick, don't you know, come in and uh, follow the arrows and, and this kind of thing. But then there were also, um, and, and still are in some places, saying, uh, for example, between seven and eight, this time is reserved for seniors or those with um, maybe special needs. Um, there were, especially in the grocery stores, signs have changed numerous times on this. Um, you know, either 
don't bring your own grocery bags or please bring your own grocery bags and if you do you've got to pack them yourself or you know like I said don't bring them and then we'll use our own and and so so that's changed so I mean you know we, we sort of stood there's so, okay good check 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 good good um, but especially the grocery store okay what what's the new thing you know for this week what's the best thing to do and um, and and you know for us you know for those of us who speak and read English it, it's just a case of reading it but if you don't and if you have a very low literacy or if you're you know English is a second language this can be very difficult and in some cases very dangerous in uh, you know not knowing what some of these signs are um, some people say that at with COVID and with all things going on in the world that these are some signs of the times or the end of the world. Now I'm not a student of um, eschatology which is sort of the study of, of last things, the, the doctrine, the theology of last things. I mean obviously you know studied a, a little bit um, but I, I feel like there's so many biblical scholars who who interpret scriptures differently so I'm not even going there but in in my own heart and mind I feel that each day we're getting closer to meeting Jesus it's a very simple simplified version of it um, and in the meantime we need to live here on earth and to do our best to live a life pleasing to him and to have others um, maybe you know that we can point to others um, that this is Jesus and he is the way the truth and the life um, so again that the whole signs of the times I don't know um, you know again except that each day we are closer to meeting Jesus but I do know that we can use the Bible as our guidepost and our signs there's numerous uh, verses in scripture that remind us tell us that um, you know how this can be our guidepost this can be our sign here's just a couple very simple ones uh, from Psalm 119 uh, verse 105 from the King James says thy word a very famous one thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path and the message translates it by your words I can see where I am going they throw a beam of light on my dark path I love that by your words God I can see where I'm going uh, they throw a beam of light on my dark path and another one from Psalm 119 and verse 1 from the message you're blessed when you stay on course walking steadily on the road revealed by God you're blessed when you follow his directions doing your best to find him that's right you don't go off on your own you walk straight along the road he set. We're going to talk a little bit more about signs tomorrow and uh, just to um, just to keep in mind that God is our sign, that the Bible uh, gives us these guideposts and our signs for living. God bless you.